Hey everyone, welcome back to Aquaponic Gardens here in Switzerland. Um, so yeah, give an update on my system. As you can see, um, plant growth is going quite well. Uh, for the first appearance, um, I'll have to let you know that I've had an outburst of spider mites. Um, it's gotten to the point now where they're actually damaging my plants and um, they're actually killing some of the plants. Some look quite badly. It's hard to see underneath the LED lamps here. But as you'll see here, um, there's spider webs covering most of the tip tops of every plant. And uh, yeah, as you see from here, it's almost killed the tops of some of them. Um, the way I'm going to fix this, or the way I have fixed it in the past, I was a little bit slow this year, is I, I don't know if I'm going to see this. These are um, beneficial insects. Sorry, wait one second. These are, this is the, the Latinish, Latin name. Um, Cytosinusis or something, Pseudolus. Yeah, what the exact name? Um, I'll send it through to you. These are some I put on a bit earlier. These are the eggs. They hatch after about one or two weeks. Yes, I have a iron deficiency in it, but um, I'll add some iron today. I've had to, um, I've been very busy building a new 500 ton. Um, farm. Um, this is my newest project. This is a pilot project to get some investors, and I've been quite successful. Um, so I'll put this on a little bit later. Uh, it's full of 2,000 pieces in here. Um, you put on a ratio of one to ten, so one of these to every ten of the spider mites. Um, Fish are going really well. So we're going to be able to see them feeding now. I've already um, thrown in the food, but uh, still a bit camera shy. Move you over to the next tank. Feeder wasn't working. Just some automatic feeders. Same problems with one of them. These are my new hybrids. These are. Um, uh, the Nile, Nile Blues, cost of the Mozambique, and it's also got a bit of a hybrid of a uh, Wami Tilapia. These are my newest of the hybrids I've been breeding. Um, they're doing extremely well. Growth rates I'm pretty happy with. Um, I know for a fact that if you grow fish in a small tank at high stocking rates, growth rate will slow down. But they're growing very, very well. What I'll do just now is grab out some fish food. I'm using the biological form um, of vegetarian food. Um, this is 100% um, organic fish feed, soya based food. Sprinkle it in there and we'll see where it goes crazy. They're hungry as always. Currently feeding them about 3% of their body weight. I have some big fish in the snake tank. They are very, very shy. These are the big hybrid breeders. This is a bred breed of the um, Niles, Wami, and Mozambiques all together. These are my mother fish. Um, I'll try and see if you can see them. I don't think we will see them. They, they, they tend to stay down the bottom. They are very shy. I'll put in some food. Maybe we'll see one come up for it. But as I say, they are very, very shy. Okay, so... As you know, it's a very experimental room. I've got many different plants and so... Basically a lot of these all chilies, some pak choy, some Asian padding salad. You see here the spin knob is just crazy, you can't really see it. You see like a, a shimmering on the leaves and this is all spider mites. 
hoping this uh, disappears in the next days. And um, yeah, this is lemongrass. We dried it out. Make a lot of awesome. Um, it's great for stuffing the fish with when you want to put it on the grill or so. This is a next generation of hybrids. I'm breeding the hybrids with the hybrids to try and make a better hybrid. It is a very difficult thing to do. Um, I don't recommend it to just anybody. Um, it can be a failure, it can be a success. And some of those value is costly. Um, luckily I have enough customers to buy all my fish. These salads are about nine to ten days old. They're ten days old actually. They're doing quite well. Uh, they're huge actually. I'm quite yeah, happy with all these plants. All the stevia, this is all done by cuttings. Um, and actually they're not getting affected so heavily by the spider mites. I'm really happy with that. Um, tomato plants are doing well. I'll go back over. Sorry guys, about the camera work. These are my new tomato plants. These are balcony tomatoes. They're quite short tomato plants. They're very only to maximum like 40 centimeters, 50 centimeters. And I'll tip them, tip the top so they do remain at this height. I have a new customer that's interested in growing stevia commercially. Um, I'll be building on a farm in February next year and I will keep you updated on that. Yeah, and um, I'll right, see some little fish come up here for a feed in a sec. A little bit of a swell out there. I swear my fish are really camera shy. Tomorrow will be a very big day in this room. Um, as you can see, plants are weakening so much from the spider mites. It's actually devastational to see my plants getting damaged so badly. I put in the second batch of um, beneficial insects today. I don't actually know the name in English. They do work quite well. I have uh, seen a couple of aphids in here in the last days. Um, so I will be, I got some ladybugs on the way next week and they will be going in to wipe out the problem before it gets bad. Spider mites, because I've been so busy with building everyone else's systems, the problem with being in business is spend more time on other people's systems than on my own. Spider mites got out of hand and because of school holidays, the biological garden where I buy all my spider mites, uh, the beneficial insects were on holidays. One thing I got on holidays was just, they were they're on holidays and this was devastational. Two weeks is a long time to let these fish uh, infect run a muck on my system. Um, Every day one bug produces something like 5,000 eggs and 5,000 eggs is much too long. Like uh, 5,000 eggs per day and then it, like a few weeks later those fish are producing 5,000 eggs. Don't watch this, you just take a bite your whole crop. Uh, my chilies doing really well. Got probably a few thousand chilies growing on these plants. Um, as you can see some just fall off. Just because of spider mites. I'm really hoping I can counteract the problem I have now quick enough to stop, stop them. Um, I had it a few times before over the years um, and it has worked but if you leave it too long you just piss it goodbye. It's just game over. Okay hey guys, I'm building a new system. Um, probably start in February. We have 500 ton on like uh, farm, um, 500 tons of fish, and we'll only be using a plant filter like I do in this room. As you can see, I have much more fish than plants in this room. This is a tilapia breeding facility. And in the next room, it will be fish farming with an aquaponic or plant filter um, to reduce water um, exchange. 
I found here in Switzerland with the weather, uh, minus 20s and so in the winter, the Celsius, minus 20 Celsius. The season's way too short to be growing plants. Um, and yet, so using indoor farming like this with LEDs, um, which isn't agreeable with some of our customers, they believe you shouldn't use power to grow plants and so. I believe in hogwash because you feed the community in some way or another. And um, yeah, then do it. Like, um, it should be up to the governments to subsidize this for this power um, to feed the community. We import 97% of our food here in Switzerland. And I believe we should be exporting food or we should keep it. Uh, products here in Switzerland and not import anything. Um, I'm trying to push this point a little bit, but it is difficult. So stay tuned for the new Unlager. 500 tons of five different species of fish. I can't mention what these fish will be right at the moment. Um, I know what they will be, but due to business um, and people watch these videos here in Switzerland, so I've got to keep a bit hush hush until things are going. But hopefully January, February next year we'll start building the new farm and you'll be able to see some real uh, progress on this new farm. Thanks for watching guys and um, stay tuned for more updates. If you have any questions, just leave them in the give me, like, yeah, give me an email, leave them in the comment section below. And um, thanks for watching again and have a nice day. Thanks guys, bye.